Right now on Capitol Hill, the fight for COVID relief is becoming more urgent by the day as more Americans file for first time unemployment. 885,000 Americans requested the help last week. The Labor Department says that's 23,000 more than the week before. Here in Georgia, first time unemployment claims dropped by nearly 10,000 people. A little more than 23,000 Georgians filed first time claims last week. We're going to stay right here, right here until we're finished. Lawmakers are desperate to find a compromise with a relief plan. Not only would it stop a government shutdown, but millions of people are otherwise set to lose unemployment benefits the day after Christmas. Lawmakers are hammering out the details of the proposed $900 billion package expected to include a new round of stimulus checks, likely about $600 for those who qualify based on income, extended federal unemployment benefits of about $300 a week, and more money for small businesses struggling to stay afloat. The framework does not include money for state and local governments, liability protection for businesses, or significant support specifically for the hard-hit restaurant industry.